guys, today I wanted to do a little June wrap up video and show you all the books that I finished for June. And then I have a couple of books that were fails for me that I tried to read and just couldn't get through. So I thought I would mention those. And then I have a couple on my July to be read list. So for the month of June, I ended up reading a total of four books, which I think is decent. It could definitely be a lot more. And it's it's interesting because I'm a very fast reader and if I get a book that I like, I read it in like a day. So two of the books I read in like a day for this month, but it takes me a while sometimes to get myself going and get myself to start reading the book. Um, so for that reason, I only had four for this month. So getting into the books that I finished for this month, the first one was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm currently rereading all the Harry Potter books. So I read this one at the beginning of the month and I loved it, of course. Harry Potter is my favorite, so they're always good and they never get old. So that was the first one that I reread. The next book that I finished was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I did post a review about this. So if you're curious, I will post all of the links below. I think that the next book I have, I did a review on as well. So I'll have that all in the information box below if you're interested in checking those out. But I really enjoyed this book. John Green's a great author and I really liked it. So if you would like to see, like I said, more about that, then check out my review. But I really enjoyed this one. And then after that one, I read The Selection by Kira Cass, which I absolutely loved. I definitely recommend this book and I thought that it was one of the best for this month for me. It's definitely in my top two favorites. So I really enjoyed this one and I'm excited to get my hands on the next one to read. So I um, do have a review up of this one as well. Like I said, it will be linked below if you wanna know more about it or what I thought about it. Um, I do have a separate video. So that was the third one. And then the last one that I read, I finished up I think last week. And that is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And oh my gosh, you guys, I love, love, loved this book. I thought it was really, really great. And I'm so glad that I read it. I stumbled upon this one at the Books A Million sale. Um, and I picked it up and I loved it. So I am going to be posting a review on this one. I do not have one up yet, but I've had a lot of people that have been um, saying they're excited to see what I thought about it and my review and stuff. So that will probably be the video up after this one. I'm going to film it after this video. I just wanted to get this video up first, but stay tuned for this if you would like to see what I thought about it. And I will probably link it below as well. So if you happen to see this and you're not sure whether it's up or not, check below there and I'll put a link to it when I post it. From this month's read, my two favorites were definitely Anna and the French Kiss and The Selection, which I know some people are probably gonna be like, what about the Fault in Our Stars, which I really, really liked it. I did. But for me, it just wasn't as as great as the hype was, if, if you will. And I liked it. And I'm not saying that in a way to make the book sound like it's not great or it's not really good because I really did enjoy it. And I think it's a really great book that everybody should read. But for me, I just, I guess I hadn't heard as much about these. I'd heard that they were good, but I hadn't heard as much hype 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 so when I read them I was just more blown out of the way and I really loved them so for me these two were the best but I really really love all of the books um so I thought that those were all great and of course Harry Potter is always great I feel like I can't really count that because I've read them like a bunch but obviously if you've never read Harry Potter then check that out first but um now into the ones that I tried to read and couldn't read. The first one I I tried for like a week, a week and a half to get into and I just couldn't couldn't get into it. I think I read like 30 to 50 pages of this um, and that's the Absolutely True Diary of the Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. I was planning on reading it and getting a review up and I just couldn't get into it and I heard it's so funny and that everybody loves it and I just thought it was okay but it wasn't anything that was like really really pulling at me to fly through and to read so I thought you know what I don't have to read it I'm not obligated to finish it so I'll just put it aside and read something else so I chose the selection instead and read that one and I'm just gonna kind of put this on hold for a while I may go back and try to reread it one day but just for now it just wasn't really feeling it so if you've read this and you really enjoyed it or you liked it or even if you didn't like it let me know below what you thought about it because maybe I need to read more of it to get more into it. I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it. So I put that one on hold. Um, and then the next 
two I actually have are part of my July to be reads as well. And these were books that I, I started reading and I just didn't finish or get a chance to finish and that I would still like to finish soon. So I've kind of pushed these into my July read list. So the first one was Seriously, I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. I started reading this when I first got it at the beginning of the month and I think I read 70 or 80 pages of it and then my sister took it from me and then if you guys watched I got all of these new books from my Barnes & Noble haul which was my June book haul um, and I just kind of put this on the back burner and I started focusing more on those so I had just kind of stopped reading this one so I will try to pick it back up and reread it all this month I really really liked it from the beginning and I love Ellen I think she's hilarious so I'm definitely going to try to knock this out. I don't think it will take me very long because it's a really easy, funny read. So I want to get this knocked out of the way just so I kind of have everything um, finished up before I buy new books. But I did not read it because I didn't like it. Now the next one I'm actually currently reading and I just didn't finish it this month. I probably could have if I would have really tried because I've been reading it now for like a week. Um, but I've only read, I think, the first two or three chapters, and that is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I picked up this one in the Books a Million sale as well with Anna and the French Kiss, and I've been reading it, but the past week or two, I haven't had as much time to read as I normally do, or maybe I just haven't made as much time, I don't know. So I've read a couple of these pages, but honestly, I've just been putting it off a little bit. So the goal for this month is to read this one and get it out of the way. And then I also would like to read Pandemonium, which is the second book from the trilogy. So I have those two on my July to be read list. And then I'm not sure whether I'm going to pick up Requiem, the third one, just because it's not out in paperback yet. Right now it's only available in hardback. And I bought the two paperback ones of these from the sale. So I'm kind of OCD about having them all matched. So I might wait a few months. I don't know how long it takes before they come out with the paperback versions of books. I know they always are released in hardback and then eventually they come out with them in paperback, but I'm not sure how long that will be. So I'm probably going to wait on that unless I just absolutely love it and I can't stand it. As far as other books that I want to read that I don't actually have yet, I want to pick up The Elite by Kira Cassidy. I would like to get the next Harry Potter book because I don't have it in hardback and I've been trying to get all of them in hardback. So I'm probably going to get that one. I may even pick up the fourth one because I only have it in paperback. So I may pick up those two and just read those two this month as well. And those are really quick reads for me. I can read those in probably like two to three days. And then I would also really like to pick up Lola and the Boy Next Door, which is the next book of the Anna and the French Kiss series. And it's on pre-order right now for the this cover edition. It's coming out this month or July. So if that becomes available, I may pick that up and read that next too because I, again, am OCD and I want to have all the covers that match. So I'm not in a super big hurry to read it or anything. I don't feel like I need it right now. So I can wait for that, but I think it's out in July. So I might just pick that up and read that too. That's all I've got planned right now for July reads. I feel like that's kind of boring, but I'm trying to kind of tie up loose ends and kind of finish some of these series off at least from what I can. I know like the last one of the selections not out till next year, but I'm trying to finish up what I have before I buy new ones. So hopefully I'll fly through these quickly and then I can do another book haul soon because I would love to buy new books, but I feel like I need to get these done first before I do. So I guess that concludes today's video. I hope you guys had a fabulous month of June and that you're all having a lot of fun things planned for July. Let me know below what books you're planning on reading for July because I always look for new books to check out so I might pick up one or two here or there depending on what you guys say. So be sure to leave me those below. And yeah, I guess that's all for today. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.